a damsel in distress. They were all dead. Love kills. Did I love her? Was there a choice? The past is a gaping hole. You try to run from it. The more you run, the deeper, more terrible it grows behind you. Its edges yawning at your heels. Your only chance is to turn around and face it. We are at the sea. Repeat, we are at the sea. But it's like looking down into the grave of your love. Check the area. Hold your fire. Or kissing the mouth of a gun, a bullet trembling in its dark nest, ready to blow your head off. We're losing him. Multiple gunshot wounds. Pupils blown. Head trauma. God only knows what else. He's in shock. Start two large four IVs. Get him to ICU. He's We're not dead. responding. This guy is a train wreck. We're losing him. When I woke up in the hospital earlier tonight, I thought it couldn't get any worse. I opened my eyes, and everything slid into focus. She was dead. I was hurt. My crime, what I had done, was like a hungry pit behind me. I had to run, get as far away from it as possible. The world was out of joint. I was hallucinating. I had to get away. Max, the route's clear. Allow me to present Max Payne. Come on, officer. We're here. Max, dear David, my friend. Payne? You need to get out of there. We need to leave now. Sorry, I... Run! Max, what's going on? Max, about what happened. I would fuck her. Max, hey! Hello? Oh. Your weapon. Anyone there? NYPD, freeze! What were you thinking? Back off, Payne. Max? Max, answer me, Max! a blind spot in my head, a bullet-shaped hole where the answer should be. Call it denial. I wanted to dig inside my skull and scrape out the pain.
Dr. Magdalena from ER. You can give away the bed you were holding for me. That detective we were waiting for was DOA. She's headed for the morgue. <laughs> I'll deal with pain. He's as good as dead. Freeze, NYPD! Found him!
those men pretended to be hospital wardens. The flesh. The flesh. I think I died. I think I'm dead. I don't know. I don't know. Death is coming. It's coming. They're here. They're here. Get away. Get away. I'm gonna hurt you. I'm gonna hurt you. They said I was an escaped mental patient. Diagnosis? Paranoid schizophrenic. You are insane. Psychotic. You have to eat plenty of pills to get better. They lied that I had killed my girlfriend. John Mira came to mock me in the bathroom mirror. <laughs> the flamingo was with him. Mira are more fat than television. Mira claimed my girlfriend had turned evil. Joined him. She has died her helmet. I smashed the mirror. I'd kill them all. Stay tuned as Address Unknown continues. You're not going anywhere. What happened out there? You did it. Internal Affairs is breathing down my neck. Did you do it? You killed her. No, I can't. No! Oh, bullshit! What the? They were after me. It was my fault. You can't run from your past. You'll end up running in circles. Until you fall back down to the same hole you were trying to escape from. And only the hole's grown deeper. I had tried to run from it, edit it out. Winterson was dead. I was a murderer. A false start. The hospital bed wasn't the beginning. It was past the point of no return. A fatal choice already made. And it would get worse before the end. The past is a puzzle, like a broken mirror. As you piece it together and you cut yourself, your image keeps shifting, and you change with it. It could destroy you, drive you mad. It could set you free. You, inside, drop your weapons and come out with your hands above your head. You'll see the choices you didn't know you'd made, like staying at work late to chat with a friend, instead of hurrying home to your family. Fan out! 
people. Circle around. Cover all the exits. Kissing her, I think of the cold laws of cause and effect. Bear those extra units. Call the central. We need every available unit here now. I am afraid. But I start again from the beginning. Trace my own steps to the scene of the crime. I had wanted to be punished for what I had done, but Alfred Woden had kept his word. With his influence, ridiculously, I had emerged from my history of violence unscathed, a hero. I didn't thank him. I couldn't stomach it. I left the DEA. I went back to where I had started out, back to the job, the NYPD. Reported shots fired in the warehouse there, acknowledge. It's mine. I'm on it. 10-4. It wasn't a call for a homicide detective, but I knew the address. The warehouse belonged to Vladimir Lem. He was connected to organized crime. We went back a while, like brothers caught on opposite sides in a civil war. His words. I need backup. Unknown number of armed perps inside. Possible hostage situation. 10-4, backup is on its way. I'm going in. With no way to deal with the past, I kept my eyes on the road, off the rearview mirror and the road kill behind me. I chased lesser mysteries, other people's crimes.
the rain was coming down like all the angels in heaven had decided to take a piss at the same time. In a situation like mine, you can only think in metaphors. They had killed the love of my life. They were going to pay. Pleased to meet you, dearest of all my friends. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Vladimir Lay. I invite you to the grand opening of my restaurant. Vodka, come, make a scene. You will be seen clear as vodka. Vodka, style, grace, and taste. Opening soon. NYPD. Whoa, easy, officer, easy. Just cleaning the place. Come on, officer, it's all legit. I work for the squeaky cleaning company. You didn't hear anything suspicious just now? No, no. Oh, wait. <laughs> you mean the gun workshop upstairs? Take me there. Move. Sure, officer, if that's what you want. You know, officer, you cops got it easy. All you have to do is go to the crime scene and look around a bit. We're the ones who have to clean up that mess, brains, and guts and shit. Detective. DT, huh? You know what I mean. <laughs> you get the credit, what do we get? Right. <laughs> oh yeah, you know what I'm saying. Hey, detective, anybody home? The gun workshop upstairs. Remember? Ring any bells? After you, detective. Oh, detective, I've got something for you. Shoot! were masquerading as cleaners. have more sense than to bleed on the floor. That's the ticket. We should find a way to kill him without spilling any blood. You know, gas him or poison or something.
Kaufman's waiting at the van. The hardware's been bad. As soon as the guys get Jackie Brown in there taken care of, we're done. Okay, I'll round up the crew, make sure the cleanup's done. Bodies, blood, prints, air, mags, empty brass. When we're out of here, there won't be a shred of evidence for the cops to find. Just a ghost story. There! The room looked like a gun storage, but it had been cleaned out. The answering machine had a message on it. You've reached Annie Finn. I'm not here right now because I'm building some nasty things that kill. So leave a message after the beep. You have one new message. Sweet Annie. Vlad here to be a gun in your gentle care. Ah, man can dream. Sorry I couldn't be there as promised. Something's come up. Nothing to worry about, but keep an eye out for trespassers. If any anything comes up, just whistle, and I'll be there. You have no new messages. I told you to sit down. Enough chit-chat. Finish her! Wait! The mob guys attacked us! I have no beef with you guys! You took them out! Listen, I work for Vladimir! Honey, you work for no one. Uh, what do you want? We, we can... NYPD, drop them! Finish her! Oh, God, no! Like all the bad things in my life, it started with the death of a woman. I couldn't save her. After him! Don't let him get away! Damn. How long can it take? You're not supposed to cuddle with her afterwards. We need to wrap this up. Kaufman wants us to move. What the...
Come on. <sighs> Finally. Mona? Max, we gotta stop meeting like this. Mona! If you think nothing can get to you, you're lying to yourself. At best, you're temporarily dead. A lightning bolt can reanimate you without a warning. My backup had arrived, but the cleaners were slipping away, making a run for it. I need backup. Unknown number of armed perps inside. Possible hostage situation. 10-4, backup is on its way. I'm going in. <laughs> 